Scotty at a squirrel Muay Thai. 28 years of age. He says his keys to victory is going to be pressure, hard punches, and leg kicks. Clarence, the Afro Warrior Watson. But opposing him that he wants his belt is Evan Bolton. And, and you know, you said it earlier, David. Clarence is 6'2. And then you go to the other side, 6'4. These guys <laughs> are trees. Battled the Giants this here. This is crazy. Evan Bolton definitely have the fight experience. Absolutely. Evan, 30 fights, 31 fights under his belt. This is his 32nd bout. He has four belts in four different weight divisions, 142, 147, 154, and also he has a 100-pound belt. Yes, sir. Yeah, he fights under Hong Vu, right, who, who is a disciple of the coach Colin Oyama. If you, again, if you're in the combat sports, anywhere world you know Colin Oyama he's trained guys like Tito Ortiz Rampage so Hung carried that over to training his guys and they really focus on their cardio so this is going to be an interesting fight both of these trees going at it and they are they're kicking each other's legs trying to chop down the tree of each of the fighters yeah. oh and Clarence throws in some heavy punches and he said it was that's some of the keys to his victory and he definitely emphasized that one there Again, we got five rounds of this for the IKF title here, amateur title. And amazed at the 150 pounds, these guys have speed, not only with their lankiness, yeah. range and effectiveness. I'm also amazed at 150 pounds, they're over six feet. That's crazy. <laughs> and Evan with a nice body kick and Clarence tries to return the favor, comes in with a kick and then a hook scores. This is like a high speed chess match right now, both using their strategy and speed chess, employing techniques up and down, both fighters. Again, their flow is just beautiful. Even when they miss, they're flowing into the next technique. Good body kick there by Evan. Return with a left hook from Clarence. Deep. Yeah, there, there you see, and I'm not sure, we'll see if CJ's used to it being the shorter fighter, right? He's 6'2", <laughs> so it'll be interesting to see if he can adapt to that. Evan Bolton, when I see him fight, he reminds me of a spider. His limbs are just going all over the place. Yeah, I'll tell you, being on the other side of it, although it doesn't look like he's throwing very hard, it's, it's annoying, you know, it's constant. Something's in your face, he doesn't stop. Good check. 10 seconds left in the first round of this title fight. Good answer. Oh, and a great rally back yeah. and forth on that. What a great start to this championship bout. I like the pressure Evan threw. He came in throwing punches and bunches and then also used kicks. Both the fighters are using vertical targets, making their fighter think up and down. They came out chopping each other's legs. But I might have to get that first round to Evan. Yeah, I'm going to agree with you just based on the pressure. You know, he walked forward, he brought the fight to Clarence, but CJ did a good job fighting off of his back foot. It's tough to fight off your back foot, but he seemed to do very well at it. We're going to see if he can keep that up, though, because you, as you know, David, that's tough, right? You get tired fighting off your back foot. At some point, you want to be the aggressor to bring the fight to him, make him dance your song, not the other way around. And also, when you're fighting backwards, you don't have your body weight carried with you with the technique. It's Clarence Watson looks very comfortable in that position, but let's see the adjustments they're going to make. Here we go for round number two. Out of five rounds for this championship bout, Evan Bolton taking on Clarence Watson. Here we go for round two. Right. Evan opening up with the kicks again. Good leg kick by CJ. Wow. What an exchange of kicks there. Look at this. And it is it, kick it, for it, kick. It, they're yeah. going back and forth on those. It's like blood sport. Oh, good thing. Nice switch by Clarence Watson. Clarence using some head movement, evading the punches. Yeah, CJ's doing a very good job of fighting off his back foot. And a nice cross to the body by CJ. Another cross to the body. Ooh, Evan looking for that head kick. CJ just got out of the way of that. CJ looks very calm in there. 
I like I like his footwork. The referee said, "Hey, you know, keep going, even though you caught that kick." <laughs> you know? It is a rally of kicks here. And you can hear Evans' corner. They're they're yelling for him every time he lands something because they like the numbers, right? Evans' key to victory is numbers. He's got to put a bunch of strikes together. When he does that is when he's at his best. CJ is doing a good job of taking kicks, blocking, and returning. This is non-stop, David. And I think we're going to get another warning for the clinch. Nope, just a break here. Superman punch from Evan. Oh. One of the uh, downfalls of being 6'4", I guess. Like you said, very high-level chess match. Very nice. Good teep by CJ. Uh, Ten seconds here left in the second round. He got a hard warning for catching the kick there. He said one more, he's going to take a point. Interesting. And this is a, another great... Hey, and kudos to our matchmakers, because another great fight here put together by those guys. Clash of different styles. Evans, a lot of numbers, a lot of forward pressure, keeps the pressure on you. CJ's a lot of bigger movements. He throws a, a heavier shot. I like the movement of Clarence Watson, I, and I think he scored a little bit more on the damage game. Uh, Evan Bone threw a lot of kicks, but a lot of them were hitting the arm. I might give that round to Clarence. Yeah, I agree. We're going to go 1-1, one, one, I think. And, and, and so far, we've been spot on with our <laughs> call. So uh, you guys at home listening... You guys can kind of take let's us go to work. Let's go to Vegas, Chris. Let's go to Vegas. Oh, uh, man, no, I can't do that. No, no, no. <laughs> Vegas doesn't fare well for me. <laughs> that, my money's safe in my pocket. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Again, here we go for round number three. Scheduled for five for the IKF Unified Southern Regional Super Welterweight title. Clarence Watson out of the red corner. Taking on Evan Bolton out of the blue corner. Here we go for round number three. Head kick by CJ. CJ looks to be the more aggressive one here in the third round. Evan flicking out that jab, flat, trying to find his range. Good body kick followed by a jab. All right. I think he's going to get a point taken for the catch of the kick. Yeah. He gave him a hard warning in that last round, so we were going to go get a point taken here. Yeah, I, I, and I don't think, you know, Clarence didn't really, Clarence didn't really oppose it. You're getting a look here at Evan Bolton's corner. That was Hung Vu. Good body kick return. What a great fight. Good knee inside. Nice. And a rally back and forth. What a fight. This is. Nice combination thrown by Evan there. Evan's just pulling out the numbers. He's yeah. using sheer volume on this. Terrence using that push kick, try to keep him at bay. Oh, uh, we got another stoppage, I think. Another one for. Oh, that's going to be another point. That is tough, man, for CJ. That's two in this round. You know, it's, it, this is very hard to call because he's catching, but he's not nullifying the action. He's not striking off of it. So, you know, in, in some of these events, especially like Cullen fights, they call clinch if you nullify the action. And so he's not striking off of it. Um, man, that's a tough he one. Might, yeah, it's, 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 it's tough to call. Good feint there by CJ. Evan following that up. Now Evan's doing the right thing. When he gets in close, he's shelling up, so his hands are not in that clinch position. So he doesn't get the warning for that. And it's one of those adjustments the fighters are going to have to make. 
They don't want to get called for clinching. Great footwork there by CJ to land that leg kick. Oh, big right hand by Evan. Woo! That was close. That was close. That head kick almost landed. Woo! Three out of the five rounds. All right. It's going to be a tough call here. Evan winning that round, but Clarence loses two points on that. So if it's a 10-9 round, it would actually be 10-7. Yeah. Two-point deduction. Now, I, I do want to bring out something. You know, when I had my fighters fight on Kunlun fights in China, they do kickboxing. They have actually four commands. They have fight, you know, uh, stop, break. And they have push. So when you're clinching, you end up, sometimes fighters end up too close, and they just end up in, a, in that position. The referees say push, and you have to push off to continue to fight. And that is something that kind of changes the game here. But sometimes these fighters here, you know, they're in that position. They just actually, they touch. They're not nullifying the action. And so it's a tough call, you know, on the kickboxing rules. And that's why in K1 in Tokyo, they say, hey, no, no, don't, no clinching at all. Zero, zero, you know, don't even touch them. So Ooh. different hand position on this. But here we go for round number four. Yep, this would be what they call the championship rounds. Right, like you said, Evan's got, got a few belts under his name, so he's been here before, and I'm sure CJ also, he's been here before, so both guys got a lot of experience here. And Evan marching forward, oh, comes up the high kick. He is really putting Clarence on his back pedal. And when, when CJ goes in the back pedal right there, he is right in the range of Evan's long kicks. Good leg kick there, good teeth too as well. CJ, for as much movement he, that he does and, and those bigger type of movements, he's in great shape. And Evan is just like a rubber band. As soon as he eats, catches a kick, he just comes right back with that kick, bounces it right back. He is like a fighting pinball machine. I'm sure from taking, going, putting your coaching hat on, you'd probably love that. Oh, I love it. I think you're great. That's just like a rally. This is like a speed table tennis match that has the veracity and the speed of that. Yeah. What they call their nothing. Nothing. That was a good body shot. Good straight to the body. Clarence, a nice side kick. He came up with the overhand earlier. Yeah, Clarence has got to go for it. He's behind. He got lost two points on that previous round for point deductions. I think he's just going to really have to rally if he wants that belt. Go for broke. Good double up on the leg kick there, Evan. And Evan find his mark on that cross. Yeah, I mean... It does, you know, Evan is definitely putting together good combinations and running CJ into the ropes, but CJ does a good job using his footwork to get out of that situation. All right, that's the fourth round of this championship fight. Fifth and final round coming up to decide who is your IKF amateur title holder. I want to see Clarence in this final round just stay inside the pocket. Because when he moves back, he's right in the range of Evan. Evan being a taller fighter with those long kicks and a long straight cross. He eats the field, though. So if he stays inside, I think he has a knockout chance. And that's what he's going to need to come out victorious on this. To earn that IKF Southern Regional title in this super welterweight fight. This is the fifth and final round. Clarence Watson out of the red corner taking on Evan Bolton. The first of our championship fights. And that perhaps, I wonder if it's because he's not used to the being the shorter fighter. You know? He's used to when he steps out, he's the one in range and out of danger. So here we go, the fifth and final round. Let's see how Clarence comes out. Pawling with that jab. Evan trying to measure with that jab. A mm. little slower start to this fifth. Ooh. And Clarence evading with that footwork. Nice turn to get out of the way. I want to see him get underneath those punches, rip that to the body, then come up to the head. Watson looking for the big overhand. Good knee on the inside. Good knee on the inside for Watson there. Landed the body of Evan. Oy. Whoa. Evan with those spider legs. Good leg kick, though. Clarence with that big overhand comes up a little short. 
I want to see him come a little bit closer. I think he can find that mark with that. CJ's got some great head movement to go along with that footwork of his. He's done, and he's evaded some of the high kicks very effectively with that footwork. Right. One minute left in this fifth and final round for the title. Good tee. CJ with the answer. The thing I like about Eben, he's just perfectly balanced all the time. And when you're perfectly balanced, you're able to strike from anywhere, any direction. Evan is just finding that balance point all the time. Even when he misses, he doesn't overextend. He's there and he's right in the pocket to counter strike just like that. Yeah, I love it. Like you said, a rubber band, right? He gets hit, he gives one back. Ten seconds here, final round. Both guys in great shape for this fight. What a fight. Wow, oh wow, you know. And I like the fact that Evan fought till the end. You know, knowing that his opponent had two points deducted, he's probably well ahead on the scorecard, but he went and fought. He earned that belt. Great Absolutely. matchup between the two. Absolutely. What Dang, a great that fight. That guy was awesome. What a great fight from both guys. Awesome fight. This will be interesting. It, you know. yeah, very tough. close fight there, David. Who, who, who do you give that one to? You know, I think I have to give to Evan. Evan was striking on mark. He was bouncing back like a rubber band. Again, he's perfectly balanced. Every time Clarence is moving back, he found he was moving back right in Evan's range. I have it unofficially 49 44, of course, including the point deductions. For Evan Bolton, I think Evan Bolton will come out victorious on this, but again, it's in the judges' hands. Yeah, I have it also 49-44 based on your scorecard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm an Asian doing math, okay? All right, I don't fail, all right? So oh, yeah, yeah. I threw the class curve off, all right? No, but I do, I do give it to Evan based on the numbers and, and the volume strikes that he was throwing. Yeah. Right, you know, it's sad to see fighters lose points on, on, on point deduction, and again, you know, not to the point where they they have the point where it changes the outcome of the fight. You know, sometimes the fighters end up too close; they end up clinching. Again, you know, we can adapt maybe some of those Kunlun rules where the fighters have to push off. Right. Then it might be a better position. But take a look at some of the replay action. Yeah. Evan Ooh, throwing missed. that combination there with a high kick. And again, we talked about Clarence evading those high kicks with his footwork and head movement. Good footwork by Clarence. Good head movement. And Evan good was action. looking for that head kick all night. Clarence did a good job of getting off of the ropes and getting out of the way of those because if one of those landed, it could have been trouble. And we see that beautiful white belt by the IKF. This is five rounds for the IKF Unified Southern Regional Super Welterweight title. One person will come out victorious and wear that belt, that strap around their waist. Clarence Watson out of the red corner. Evan Bolton out of the blue corner. A great matchup between these two fighters against these tall, tall fighters. Oh, yeah. Tall is an understatement. Both of them over six foot here. Six two and six four. At 150, you don't see that too often. Oh, not at all, you know. But great stuff. I've seen Evan evolve as a fighter. I've seen him fight, especially in his younger days, and he's just evolved. And again, he knows his body. He knows his balance. When he misses, he doesn't overreach. He finds his retraction back. He's always in position. Great job there by Evan Bolton. And again, Clarence Watson, his footwork and evasiveness worked out very well. Couldn't find a mark with those punches. I like your analogy, David, you know, the, the rubber band. Evan gets hit or he gets a shot, he fires one right back. That's a good way to stay up on the scorecards, right? Because obviously if it lands, you answer back with one of your own or two of your own, the points are there. Definitely. He was almost like a pinball machine, you know, bouncing in. Ping, 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 ping. Yeah. He was there. Absolutely. Well, kudos, my hats off to both of these fighters. They put up a great fight here. First of our championship bouts. Yeah, what, what, a, what a championship fight to kick off our championship bouts. We've got a professional fight coming up with, that's going to be explosive, and I can't wait. Definitely, there you see Evan Bolton smiling, happy, and fighters touching, touching fist bumps maps. with each other. Again, <laughs> wrist respect for each other and again you see the level of respect for this sport absolutely 
All right, and obviously a tough fight to, to judge, right? We're still waiting on those scorecards to come in, which then implies that it's a tough one to judge. Well, again, we're not wrong, but let's see if we got the, the call right too. Okay, but the only thing is, is those point deductions, and that's a tough thing for Clarence Watson, you know? Absolutely. The scene at the Josh Shibata for our official decision. So here we go. So what a great way to start the championship fight. Looks like we're six for six, David. <laughs> and Evan snaps the red corner, victory streak, fighting out of the blue corner. Congratulations to Evan. Great job by Clarence Watson. What a fight. Well deserved, Evan. Evan now wearing his fifth belt. Now, yep. And he's got a ton of experience, like you said. I can't imagine he doesn't make that jump to professional soon. At 32 amateur bouts right now, he, there's nowhere for him to go. Good job there. All right, Hung. And Evans taking pictures with his brand new belt in the middle of 